Today's video is called Everything I Would Change About Pokemon. Before I get any zealot comments about how Pokemon doesn't need to change because it can sell anything and still make millions, you should understand that I already know that the company doesn't need to change in order to sell products because of consumer brand loyalty. This video is more about things that I personally wish the company would have done. I won't be surprised if some viewers agree with a lot of the things that I mention in this video. These changes that I'm talking about would all be applied to a mature spin-off game from the mainline games. The first thing I would change is the communication aspect. The hardware, which I'm guessing would have to be on the Switch 2, would provide a voice chat option, and the voice chat would be available in this Pokemon game. Now if the Switch 2 doesn't actually end up having a voice chat, then that's just insane. Now moving on, I wouldn't stop there. I would also give freedom to the player to write type messages to their friends through multiplayer features. The second thing I would change is the age of the protagonist and their appearance in the game. The protagonist would have to be an adult since this is a mature game. I would also allow the players to have different body types that range from bodybuilder to severely overweight. The clothing options would intentionally be stylish with variety and not just generic clothes that can be found in most RPG games. The third thing I would change is the battle locations. I would make it so that the actual battle locations can be altered and damaged by attacks. I would also design some battle locations that can alter their own setup to provide an advantage to certain Pokemon. Keep in mind all of these changes would be done even if it meant having a roster of under 200 Pokemon for balancing reasons. And since the Pokemon company is probably the wealthiest gaming franchise, then yeah I believe all of this would be possible. The fourth thing I would change would be the battle system. Since this would not be a traditional mainline game, I would use this opportunity to finally give Pokemon real-time combat so that it would match the anime. Now before anyone says that that would be too expensive, keep in mind Dragon Ball Z Sparking Zero has 182 characters and the fighting is a lot more fast paced than what you would find in a Pokemon game. Yes, I know that some attack moves would not work in a game with real-time combat, but I see it as a necessary sacrifice. And also, both Pokin and Pokemon Unite have real-time combat, so it is possible. The fifth thing that I would change is that I would finally add voice acting to the game. This is a feature that is long overdue and has been requested for years. The sixth thing I would add to the game would be for super rare cosmetics. Cosmetics that can only be obtained from winning or ranking high enough in online tournaments. That way they would be very memorable items. The seventh thing that I would change is that I would allow the player to choose from multiple entrance and victory animations for online matches. These are the seven things I would change that I truly believe would make a world of difference to players around the world. So in this short video I just explained to you everything I would change about Pokemon. These are the main things I would change. If you enjoyed watching this video, be sure to subscribe and like and share. Find out what happens next time on The OFC.